In this problem, we have a picture of a circle, and we need to find the equation of the circle in both the center radius form and in general form. Well, from the picture here, we can see that we have a center of 2, 3. So when we're talking about writing this in center radius form, let's, let's do this underneath. We already have the center. So my center is 2, 3. So that means it's going to look like x minus 2. Remember how we talked about doing the opposite of that? So that's going to be x minus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared. But it's supposed to equal the square of our radius. Well, we've got to find the radius. If you look at the picture, you can see that the distance here from here to here is going to be, it looks like six units, right? As we go from a y value of negative three to a y value of three, that's a change of six. Uh, let's look at this point here just to make sure. So if I go from here to here, what's that change? And you can count the spots if you want to, count the, the units. You can also see that you go from an x value of negative four to an x value of two, and so the change there is six. So this means my radius is equal to 6, which means for my center radius form, this is r squared, and that's going to be 36. So that's the equation for your circle in center radius form that's going to be this guy. But now we've got to put this in general form. So general form is really nothing all that major. It just requires you to expand all of this stuff out. And remember to expand that you've got to remember this special product. That when you square a binomial, you get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. If you don't want to remember the formula, you can take the long route and do two sets of parentheses and foil it out. But I'm not going to do that because I know my special products. Which means when I square this out, I get x squared the product of 2 times a times b, and sometimes we like to see it like this. If I multiply these together, I get negative 2x. And if I multiply that times 2, I get negative 4x. Square of the b, so that's plus 4. And I do the same thing for the y. So squaring this, I get y squared. The product of these two pieces is negative 3y times 2 is negative 6y. Square of the negative 3, I get positive 9, and this equals 36. So that general form says you put everything, you put everything on the same side, and you want to order your terms the right way. So I need to, let's see, let's go ahead and reorder the terms first. So reordering the terms is going to be x squared plus y squared, and then do my x term. So do minus 4x, and then the y term, minus 6y. And I'm going to take the plus 4 and the plus 9 and combine those guys. So that's plus 13. And to finish putting this in general form, we're going to move the 36 over here to the left side by subtracting it. Because in the general form, you have 0 on the right side. So here we go. We have x squared plus y squared minus 4x minus 6y minus tw 23 equals 0. So here is your center radius form. It was an easy guy to pick off. And then we had to expand that to put this into the general form. Make sure that you square correctly. Make sure that you watch your signs. And you're going to be all right.